Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everyone, uh, assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you got questions. Uh, we have another email or video request for that. You can get an email request. It doesn't always have to be video if you want, you know, for privacy reasons. Um, hi, Mr. Asshole. I'd just like to start off by saying that you're doing the Lord's work and you saved me seven years of my youth and $120,000 in law school. I'm 20 years old and I currently work in retail security right now to save up money for a car and I live with my parents. I've also I've always dreamed of becoming a defense lawyer since high school, but I decided to get the fuck out of Dodge after working in a law office and watching many of your videos. That being said, having my dream crushed by reality was and still is devastating to me. I decided to man the hell up and find interest in the trades and the STEM fields. This may have finished up my first year at uh, the University of Alaska as a poli-sci major and after waiting, wasting about $20,000 as an out State, do, state student, I decided not to go back after agonizing months of thinking and planning. Now that I'm back in New York, <clears throat> I'm planning on attending a technical public college in Brooklyn as a facilities engineer management major. I'm not really interested in any other types of engineering, civil, mechanical, electrical, etc. I like the fact that almost all the jobs related to this major is growing at around double or triple the national average also. Uh, I find all the practical skills I'll be learning to be useful and very interesting. The courses primarily cover HVAC 1, 2, 3, and 4, plumbing technology, AutoCAD, building science, construction management, OSHA, and labor regulations, etc. It's a 2 plus 2 degree that gets you an associate's, gets you an associate the trade, gets you an associate the trades regarding the things I mentioned above. In the last two years, it's more about the legal aspects, accounting, and uh, management side. So I'll be granted a Bachelor's of Technology in Facilities Management. Do you think that this would be a good field to go into? I feel like it's a broad enough field to leave my options open to become a boilermaker, HVAC installer, plumber, stationary engineer, hotel engineer, safety inspector, property manager, and the likes, and at the same time learn a practical trade that's not just some bullfuckery like English <laughs> or limit studies. What do you think about this plan? you see any room for future entrepreneurial endeavors? Well, you, you could certainly be an entrepreneur. Um, that, yeah, I mean, you're, you, you always have the option to be an entrepreneur. You don't need to go to college for it, but this will certainly help you. Uh, P.S. I'd be paying in-state tuition 6700 a year. That's much cheaper, which is more than doable between my mom and myself. Also have an IQ of 141, so I think I'll be fine academically. Yeah, I think you'll be all right, as long as I pay attention in class. Not go for all like I did in high school. Uh, then he had something else. Should I go for the last two years and get the bachelor's in tech or stay away, stay with the AAS, the associates? Finally, would you go for a job with an average job growth with average pay or a job in higher demand with low pay? Well, a job in higher demand with low pay, does that's, that wouldn't naturally exist in economics. If it's in high demand, it'll typically come with high pay. Would I rather work average growth for average pay? It's, it's a false dichotomy because the other one doesn't exist. Higher demand job with low pay. I would probably go with the one that's in higher demand because it would be higher pay and it would be easier to find a job. Um, all right, so let's let's get back to your original question here. Uh, I, like, I like it. I like the idea. I'm not terribly fond of the general aspect of it. It's facilities management. Um, I do like the trade aspect though, that you're going to be learning plumbing and HVAC and even there you could probably then maybe look at joining a union. So you're getting, you're getting a trade and then pretty much the second two years as you surmise is more managerial aspect, which is fine, but your real skill is going to be those first two years um, that you pick up an actual trade and then you could, you could stop and work and I, I'd recommend that. I'd recommend, you know, do your two years, get your associates and start working. Get some money in there, get some real world experience because there's theory and practice and you don't want to be like one of these idiots that get their doctorate, never work in the real world, and then pontificate like professors do because they don't know anything. Um, 
So then it would also, you know, maybe there's something about this field that you really don't know and you may not really like. You might end up hating this. And it's better to get your foot wet and dip your toe in two years into this rather than do a full four years of school and then find out you don't like it. So I think it's very wise. Yeah, maybe take a year off, maybe even six months. Maybe, you know, you work part-time and you go to school full-time or you work full-time, you go to school part-time um, to slowly ease into it. Because again, you're 20, you're 20. no one's gonna take you seriously in two more years. If you're under 25, they're not, they're not gonna take you seriously. So there's no rush for you to necessarily get a management degree because you're not gonna be managing. You'll be starting off at the ground, entry level. So, But yeah, no, I do like your plan. Um, Definitely pursue it. It's good to see younger folks doing that. Toodles.